Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 3 0 victory over Torquay United in the National League South. I think it's safe to say Adam is a historical victory for the club. How are you feeling after that? Oh, yeah, obviously delighted um, for the players, really. Um, they've worked tirelessly in pre season, and I think um, all that hard work, uh, their fitness levels, how they got across the pitch today, um, you know, the two midfield boys covered every blade of grass I think for us and uh, was superb so yeah I can't praise um, you know the players enough and like I say it was just an unbelievable day all round I thought the fans were unbelievable you know it was early start for us eight o'clock um, coach to get down here um, and it's full packed there's no uh, spare seats on the coach so you know you just hope you can come and give a good account of yourself and I feel we've done that today. You talked about battles in the midfield, the two in the midfield, and it was the energy in the midfield that really felt like it won the game today. Sorondo and Klaas didn't really seem to have any problems. Joe Felix's work rate was unbelievable. How much was in that midfield critical to the victory? No, it certainly was, yeah. And, you know, it's, it's another clean sheet, and this is a tough place to come. They've got some really good players and put you under pressure. The ball comes into your box and you've got to defend your box. And I just said to the lads at half-time, I felt how they could potentially get back in the game would be from across. Um, so we need to celebrate almost um, any defenders that get on the end of um, defensive uh, crosses like it's a goal. Um, they're they're going to be that important for us. And, you know, that was really pleasing to see. Um, they've got real hunger about in this group. And I'm just delighted that for all their hard work in pre-season, um, they get to enjoy a day like today. Looking at the goals as well, they were all I mean, excellently worked. A uh, bit suppressing for Michael Class for the third one to send through Reese Meekums. Uh, Ricky Aguiar, um, an excellent lofted header, a headed goal, which is quite rare for us as well. Um, something you brought up a lot of times last season, a frustration of yours. It must be amazing to see for that for you. No, yeah, um, I think like Ricky can do that for us. Um, obviously, I think uh, certain games is passing range from a deeper position, but he's also got great technical ability to get forward and. You know, um, I wasn't expecting him to pop up with one with his head, but I thought with this win he could definitely, you know, have a couple of shots and I think hit the bar early on in the, the first half. Um, so yeah, I've seen Nicky's quality with his cross as well. Like, you know, the percentage of good crosses he puts into the box is 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 is, is insane for this level. And um, you know, I'm just like to say, Greg a bit frustrated with his performance, but I thought he was a real handful today. I think their centre halves wouldn't enjoy playing against him. Um, so there's there's lots and lots to be pleased with and. Um, yeah, we've got to enjoy it, but uh, there's another big test around the corner, and that's Tuesday night. It's to be commended as well, the adaptability of the side. The other team grew into the game in the first half, grew in confidence in their passing, and in the second half, they adapted to that pressure from talking. So they really came at us at the start of that half, but it felt like Lure, and Felix, and Class, and Aguirre in that final third were making all sorts of chances for us from that. No, yeah, and, and like I say, um, credit to the players as well, because I thought they you know, kept playing at times. They showed bravery to go into midfield and out to the other centre back. And, you know, that really forced them onto the press for us. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it created spaces a bit higher. So that bravery playing deep um, from our, our defensive players created the space a bit higher up the pitch. And, um, you know, just like I say, I don't think there's one player you can really fault today. Um, and you need that. You need that when you come to a place like this. Everyone's got to be at it. Everyone's got to be performing um, to, a, to a real high high level. And you know we've done that. And you know even the lads that come off the bench. Um, you know I think Luke is bitterly disappointed. He hasn't opened his account for us. Um, but you know the, the the quality that them three show when they come on and the work rate. Um, that's to be commended as well because as about to say a real tight knit group and definitely feel that they're together. Um, you know. We're winning headers at the back and people are celebrating it. We score goals and everyone's off the bench and you know Kane and, and Ruben have come down from the, the stands today and enjoying the victory as well. And um, you know it's, it's, it's good, um, but we know that in this league you've got to do it again Tuesday, and that's that's going to be the message. That's the big thing, yeah, going on to that one Tuesday night. A tough place to go. Not, not an easy seat that is, but no better way to do it than going to two, two victories and two big cheats as well. No, exactly that, yeah. Um, completely contrast, I thought, you know, it's quite a tight, cagey kind of game. Um, and we've obviously scored a last minute one against Tunbridge, and then I think it's a bit more open today, and it we could have maybe made it more emphatic, but, you know, you can't knock any of the players, and I'd just like to say, you know, full credit to them, and, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be another tough, difficult task on Tuesday night. Um, get back late tonight, um, we're going to have to recover well, and, um, yeah, see where we are for Tuesday, because, you know, that's the next challenge now. We can't, you know, 
worry too much about this result and this performance. We'll enjoy it, obviously, but you know now the focus is is really on Tuesday night.